Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 1.4.2, which is uh, some basic properties of zero back, uh, zero matrices. Okay. Um, we have uh, this uh, property. You see, uh, the properties, all of the properties, are, I think most of the properties are obvious, similar as the zero number in the real number system we learned before. See zero matrix plus a matrix mm, equals the original matrix, and the a matrix minus zero matrix equals the original. So it's the same as like a zero is the identity of addition, right? And the C is like a, the inverse. So A minus A is A plus the inverse of A, like a definition. Of course, it equals zero uh, matrix. And the D has zero times a matrix zero is a scalar number. Times a matrix, so what do we get is a zero uh, matrix. Or another way, if this zero is a matrix, and then what do we get? We also get the zero matrix, right? And the, all this is obvious. I just leave for you to verify. All this is uh, obvious. Okay. All this is very obvious. Let's just uh, use definition to prove. I prove one D. No, uh, no, uh, E. E is like um, mm, zero product. Like a times b two number times together equals a zero number, and then uh, either one is zero, right? Okay. So like a c a scalar number times a matrix equals a zero matrix. So either the matrix uh, either the scalar number c is a zero zero scalar number or the matrix a is a zero matrix. Uh, let's say what e is two. And the E, of course, we should have two cases. Okay, see the first. Uh, this is a scalar number, so A is a matrix. That's a matrix uh, scalar multiplication. So this zero, of course, should be a zero matrix. Okay. And the two cases. Okay, so it just look at a case one. Uh, C scalar number equals zero. That's okay. okay. Why? Because uh, uh, zero times the matrix is zero, right? Okay. So that's okay. So C equals zero is possible. And then case two. Uh, if C is not zero, okay, imagine case two, C is not zero. C is not zero. Not a zero scalar number, and then what do we have? Uh, we have uh, let's do calculation. Okay. So C times A should be because uh, hmm, let's let's use this. Okay, C times uh, A I J is that okay? Uh, I will not specify the size of the matrix. Whatever the general entry of the matrix is A, I, J. And uh, by the definition C, go inside uh, all the entries. So each entry should be C times A, I, J. That makes sense, right? And this is a zero matrix. This is a zero matrix. Hmm. That's zero matrix. By the condition, if this is zero matrix, then uh, we should have each entry C times A I J all equal zero, right? So each entry, okay, because C is not a zero, and therefore A I J should be zero, and then because I J is for all the index, therefore, see, and that's for all the I and the J. Okay. So therefore, we know the matrix A equals A I J should be zero matrix, so zero matrix. Yeah, that's the proof.
Thank you.